Hello YouTube, welcome to an unboxing video. We're rather excited about this one. This has flown its way from Singapore and I haven't seen it anywhere about yet. So I think this is quite an exclusive unboxing. Uh, it is Fly Away and it's kindly gifted to us by Tuba. Now, instantly, I don't know about you, but I'm loving the look of that book, boys, with these cool birds. It builds itself as a squawking fun game about bird migration, doesn't it, Max? Yeah. Now, also, we're loving the feel of this, aren't we? Doesn't yeah. it feel nice, boys? It's got this lovely linen finish, so you know it's got a little bit of quality about it, and the artwork's great. So, George, how many players is this going to be for, do you reckon? It is for two to four players. Two to four players? Max, how old are you going to have to be to play it? Ten plus. Is that going to be okay for you? We don't know. We will find out. Harrison, how long is this going to play? It's going to take 45 to 90 minutes to play. 45 to 90 minutes. So it's on the slightly heavier side of gaming. Um, but I'm excited to see what's in the box. Uh, so let's get the lid off before we go any further. Oh. Oh. Bit of an anticlimax there. I'm sorry, YouTube. Oh, Max helps. We've got a flyaway logo on the inside of the lid. I always like that. Uh, so we'll move that somewhere. Oh, what have we got? This has gone all the way. Oh, look. Okay, so firstly, Max, do you want to... What are these? What have you got there? The rule book. The rule book. Uh, fly, again, a nice linen finish, nice quality. So let's have a look. This is our first glance of what we're going to be doing in the game of Fly Away. So we're going to have a nice big map, player boards, possibly. Lots of cards. Now, I think... From what limited research I could do, you are going to be basically following bird migrations for three different birds uh, from north to south, because obviously that's the way birds fly during their migration. You can't go up and then down, so you can only go down, but you can use other people's routes as well as your own. And the person who places the last bit of the track gets to keep the bird and gets the points or any bonuses from that bird. So that's a rough... Very quick, um, it's more complicated than that, but that gives you a little idea. Got a quick setup guide, that's always nice, so when you've learned the game, you could just quickly check this out and see what's going on. I like that a lot. Now, Max, what are you excited to see there? Boom. Boom. Oh. 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 It's, oh. it's a big board. It is a big board, isn't it? It is. Whereabouts in the world are we, Harrison? You're pretty good with your geography. Uh. Not we can't see that. No, not where we are. Where is this in the world? Where oh, are we? This is Asia. Yeah, the birds are going to be flying we around Asia. Oh, are we going to be seeing? Oh, probably. No, I'm not going to be seeing. Oh, everyone's going to miss you though, Max. You can't have that. Now, it's a lovely, you know, when you're designing a nice artwork for a back of a board, you know they are paying attention. Shall we have that in front of us there? Yeah. So, this is all the places you can fly, pretty much from Siberia and Russia all the way down uh, to Australia. Uh, and that's where the birds are going to be going, through China, Mongolia, Thailand, Cambodia. You can stop. And this around the edge is your score track. Yes. You can just stop here. And I like the way the board has got a couple of, uh, a legend to tell you what birds, where they're from, whether they're wetland birds, open country habitat birds or forest birds. And then there's a little play set up as well, so you know what you're doing each time on the board. Mm. Right. There's also the symbols on the board, wetland, open country and... Oh forest. yeah, so this is, might be where they need to go. So, Harrison, I propose that you make a good start on those because they look exciting. George, would you get some of these bits out of the box for us and tell us what you think you might have? Max, okay. you're going for those? Okay, and I will go for these and then that can go out of you. It's a bag with bags inside. A bag of bags, how exciting, Max. Oh, we've got the easy tabs. We've got the easy tabs. We're good. Mm -hmm. Open yours up first, George. What have we got there, mate? So, That's the wrong way for them. Oh, another yeah. pretty bird on the back, though. A bird. And there's foul play, discard, foul, and... Oh, OK. So here you go. So this is where my cards that I'm about to unwrap will go. And that is just a player board for some cards. So foul play or when, because uh, this bird wants to raise awareness of bird conservation, sorry, this game wants to raise awareness of bird conservation. Okay. Some of the things that happen on the bird's roots aren't very pleasant, so you've got to avoid those. And also... Oh, George, got one more board, Max, and then it's your turn, yeah. Is, there's a bird deck, a rooting area. A roosting area, yeah, so where the birds roost. 
and a death zone if something nasty, some of that foul, foul play happens. Uh, I'm enjoying the play on words. Obviously, we've got wing it, which are the mm. sort of a, the chance cards, if you like. Foul play, which are the nasty mm. cards. Uh, and I quite like that. And it tallies with the cards on the back. Mm. Max wants to just show some of your bits, don't you? Ooh. So what we've got here, these are your little wooden, nice quality, little wooden coloured markers, which will be each colour's each player's colour, mm -hmm. and they will start spreading along the board as you go on a bird migration, and each player will be taking it in turns to try and complete a route. We'll yeah. talk about those routes in one more second when we get to Harrison's. Uh, but, sorry, to go. a uh, okay, keep the colour pile then, Max. You get that ready over there with your colour piles, and then Harrison's got some things. Here, we have got three types of birds. I'll start off with the forest birds yeah. from the forest habitat. We have got the masked thin foot, the Japanese night heron, the rufous headed robin, fairy pitta, Ijima's leaf warbler. Wow, that was a good effort, Harrison. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have attempted that one. You've done well with leaf. Yep. I would have gone leaf warbler. Japanese paradise flycatcher. And aren't these pretty? Look at these yeah. cards. They are so pretty. The artwork on these cards, I'm sure, would agree. Those were on the box. I found mine. That one's there, and then this one on the. Yeah, that one's on the box. Oh. Uh, they're such pretty illustrations. I'm sure you'll agree out there. Yeah, they're I lovely. found my favourite. Oh, look at that. The Oriental Dwarf Kingfisher. Actually, I found. Isn't that pretty, George? They are yeah. Oh, lovely. Can we do that in one sec then, Max? Whilst we're off the cards, would that be okay? They've got wings. And a Narcicus flycatcher. Oh, no, I do sort of know that's Narcissus. Oh. Uh, he was a god, I think. He loved himself. They do we'll have weird names. They yeah, do. All birds do, don't they? Honey buzzard. Are we still in the forest? Yeah. Wing Whoa! Cuckoo. Come on, then, let's go quicker because uh, yeah. if we're in the forest still, there's two more habitats to conjure up. Let's do wetland next. Okay. Uh, George, would you like to show some of these? Yeah. So those are the players' potion. Hold that one up for the camera and have a look. Um, great knot. Not a bit of rope, but a pretty bird. Oh, look at the red crowned crane. I've always wanted to... The cranes are very pretty yeah. birds. Um, and what else? Oh, a Stella's sea eagle, George. What do you think he looks like? An eagle. An eagle. Yeah, fair enough. That's pretty, isn't it? It looks like just a normal Do you want to show that one? That's a very pretty bird. Yeah. Show the people out there, yeah. Very pretty. This is a very pretty bird and I can't even read the name. Oh, it's a black-capped kingfisher. You can say kingfisher. <laughs> um, lots of pretty birds there. Now, you'll notice on these, I think they've got end-around bonuses. Uh, so on each of your turn, at the start of your turn, you may skip drawing a wing it card if you wanted, for example, if you have the Chinese crested turn. They also have a grid reference where they start. So Southern China C19. Oh, Max, actually, would you show these quickly? Oh. So in here, it's a little box. Actually, Harry, you show your cards quickly whilst Max gets in the bag so, before you'd already got there. I've got some, a Japanese quail, a common questru, kestrel, a Stenager's stone chat, a Shorted owl. Oh, look at that vulture. Cool. Sorry, I've snatched that off you. That's a yeah. cool bird, Harrison. An imperial eagle. A streaked red warbler. A yellow breasted bunting. Oh, and look, this one's named after me. The Great Bustard. He's one of the heaviest birds in Asia. The Great Bustard. Um, I rather like him. Uh, anyway, Terrier. right, you hold some up. I'm just going to talk about pawns if I may, yeah. if that's okay. So we've got uh, meet, uh, colour player tokens, pawns. They're going to be on your scoring track. They're available in four colours and they obviously match these bits of wood for your um, pathway, your migration. Then we've got these little white uh, nuggets. I'm not sure you can see those out there, but we've got some little white nuggets and they will start. So the bird has, yeah, I'm not sure you're going to see it. Uh, so we've got green, white and blue, so they must be the white ones. So this bird here, the black-capped kingfisher, is going to start at D3. So you have to find D3 on the map and around here's edges. So here's D, there's D3. And he's got to get to F6. Ooh. 
Oh, where's F6? F6 is here. So he's got to fly down here, and they're the routes that you're going to have to join up between all the players that are going to be fighting for that, and then you'd get that card. The green ones, so this uh, Ajima's Leaf Warbler, I chose the only one I couldn't say the first word for, but there we go. Uh, he's, he or she, it looks like he, uh, is going from B16 up here somewhere. Max, can you see B16? Can you see B16? It's under all your lovely... B16. B16's there, and he's going to be going down to D9 there, and just below Hong Kong. And then the last ones, let's do the Great Bustard, because he's, oh wow, we've got a pretty one. Yeah, we've shown this. Oh, we're fine. I'm still it's dumbfounded by the prettiness of these art cards, mm. and lovely designs on the back as well, I think you'd agree out there. Mm. Um, A8 to C12. So that he's going to be starting up there and going down. He doesn't go quite so far down the Great Bustard, but he goes into central China. So if you can connect these routes on your turn, and then you're going to be going into these cards, which we haven't opened yet, and this is the last thing we get to share with you out there, YouTube. I've got a question. I'd love to hear it. Uh, do blue-footed boobies live in Asia? No, they live in the Galapagos Islands. Galapagos Islands, you'll find the blue-footed booby. Um, thank you, Harrison, for your information. George, very good question. It's one of my favourite birds, the blue-footed booby. Yeah. It always has been. Always like the name. Um, <laughs> It's a funny name. Uh, it is a funny name, isn't it? That's why. Uh, but, and it does have lovely blue feet. And I think the egg colour is rather nice as well from memory. Um, anyway, so these are the cards. So we have got Squawk cards. Squawk! Max, I reckon you could do a good Squawk. Squawk! That is a good Squawk. I apologise about that. If that hurt your ears. And then there's a double Squawk. Can you do a double Squawk, Max? Squawk! Squawk! Uh, and then, George, I reckon you can have a go at three Squawks. So there we go. So these are squawk cards. Uh, this has a value of one. Uh, you can group squawks together uh, and they will possibly, I think, if, forgive me if I'm wrong because this is all a new game, so I'm sort of winging it a bit. Oh Get the pun, winging it. Birds? Mm. No? Okay, just me then. Uh, I think you can neutralise foul play cards with squawk cards and you will find those in the wing it pile of the deck. Also in the wing it pile are other things. Uh, so they're sort of, well this one says funds for conf conservation, not easy for me to say apparently, uh, public support. So you can use this card when you're saving a bird from something nasty and forest, restoration, sustainable farming. So there is a nice ecological message amongst this and the conservatory one, which I think in this day and age is really important, yeah. isn't it boys? Yeah, we like birds, we don't want them hunted, we don't want them shot. Uh, they are there as part of our ecology and our world, and we love them. So yeah, these are some of the nasty cards then, the foul play cards. There's some really nasty ones. Like right. pollution and mm -hmm. stuff. Some of the nasty ones. So we've got deforestations. That's when people are chopping down trees and the birds no longer have their habitat. Mm -hmm. These are mega events. These are the really bad. These are bird catastrophes, not mm -hmm. catastrophes. Although cats aren't very good for birds. Uh, but uh, the bird catastrophes, uh, overgrazing, algal bloom, massive forest fires. These are all things that we're up against in looking after nature. Sea levels rise. And a mass extinction, which would be yeah. indeed a bird catastrophe. Uh, so human activity can really destroy all the forests and wipe mm -hmm. something out, which would be a shame because all these things like look at these birds. Well, yeah, people aren't, aren't great, unfortunately. We're, we're not very kind to the world. Um, so these are some of the other little things that are nasty, but, but probably not mass extinction nasty. Um, but a major storm might affect you on your route, uh, and that means you can't play a wing it card this turn. So these will be a window collision. Smash! Poor little thing. Gets confused and flies into a window. It's Exhaustion. Nice. These are long journeys for birds, and not all of them make it, is the sad truth. Uh, so he's, he's car tick backs. Um, so that would mean you have to discard two wing it cards you've collected. Like pollution is a problem, but you can see on the top corner there's a squawk number. So one mm. squawk would mean your bird can carry on, it can just squawk on through. Aeroplane collision is obviously a bit more nasty, that takes two uh, squawk cards mm. to fix. Mm. That's not Caged good. bird trade. Um, now obviously birds make lovely pets, uh, but some exotic birds should not be caged. Mm -hmm. I think that's fair. Wind turbine collision, obviously we all need power. Wind turbine is brilliant for uh, a number of reasons, uh, but they're not so kind on birds who are flying into them. Obviously you've got natural predators. Not everything is human's fault. Uh, sometimes a bigger bird is just gonna wanna eat you uh... up. 
Daddy, yeah. your voice has improved back. Foul play, tier two. So yeah, there's different tiers as you go through. Sorry, that's a very good point. Thank you, Max. Foul play tier three, foul play tier two, and foul play tier one. And they're sort of segregated. They've got punctuation marks, which I believe these nasty bird catastrophes mm -hmm. are the punctuation marks between tiers. Um, unsustainable farming's there, a snake. Ooh. And still, really cool artwork uh, throughout. I'm, I'm loving the look, mm -hmm. the feel. What do you think, guys? Yeah, good. Yeah. So I think it's safe to say that is fly away, unboxed. Yep. That's what you're going to get in the box. Now, there may be all sorts of things. This is uh, a demo version of a Kickstarter campaign that will be coming to Kickstarter soon, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to play test it. We will make sure we preview it for you. Uh, uh, all sorts of different player accounts, all sorts of different games, because that's what we do for you. If you want more content like that, Ooh. what do we have to do, George? We have to... Oh. That's your bit. Oh. Your... Yeah, yeah, you go for it. The bit you normally do. What bit? Like, subscribe, <laughs> comment, comment your favourite type of bird, maybe, or I um, don't know. Yeah, uh, well, what can they comment? Yeah, that's, let's go. What's your favourite bird out there? We'd love to hear. What did you think of the unboxing? Any of that. So, yeah, so like, comment and subscribe on our YouTube channel. We want more subscribers. Well, these boys do, because yeah. uh, they like seeing that yeah. clicker count with all the different subscribers. Yeah. Um, Max, anything else they should do? Should they visit our website or something? Yeah. What's our website? Do you, can you remember our website? No. No? Is it www.co.boardgamereview? No. So close, but no, failing miserably. Boys. www.boardgamereview.co.uk Thank you, Harrison. Yeah. Saving the day. Saving the day. Yeah, we're boardgamereview.co.uk. There you will find written reviews, previews, features, interviews, all sorts of stuff. So go and have a read, it's really good. And you'll see all our other uh, videos linked here on there as well. And the other thing you can do is we're on Instagram. Yes. That's where you'll find us, it's where all the cool kids hang out. Uh, you will find uh, me at Ball Game Review UK. That's at Ball Game Review UK. You'll find this little mite. Mm -hmm. uh, not so little anymore, but this little mm -hmm. Mike, he is there at BGR, which is Board Game Review, but BGR underscore, the little low line, Junior, J-N-R. So BGR underscore J-N-R, and you'll see this little man's efforts on Instagram yes. too. Um, so you'll keep up with us there. I uh, just made an underscore. That yeah. is an underscore. Max has just made, and it's green, which is perfect for Harrison, because mm -hmm. that's his favourite colour. Um, I love this game already turquoise from a, it's a feast. It's actually turquoise blue. Oh, well, I beg your pardon, Max. It's, it, I, if we're going to be pedantic, I think it's more teal. Ooh. Um, ooh. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm really excited to play this. The look, it is a feast for the eyes already. And I think, I, I think it's going to be a clever game. It sort of feels... Mm. Feels very familiar with the, the piece laying and route laying. I mean, let's be honest, we love Ticket to Ride in our house and there's a little element of that, but you're going to be sharing tracks mm -hmm. and getting bonuses from the cards. So I'm, and, and we also love Winston and we love birds. Like, so. um, ticket to Ride? Yeah, but that's how a Ticket to Ride feel, doesn't it? But with birds instead of trains. Yeah. <laughs> And the cards, which are going to change it to a different game completely because yes. you're going to have bonuses, you're going to have things going wrong. Yeah. That is a board game review unboxing of Fly Away, kindly gifted to us by Tuba. Uh, thank you very much for watching. We hope you've enjoyed it. As I say, like, subscribe, find us on Instagram, find us on Facebook, do all that stuff. Visit boardgamereview.co.uk. But for now, good bye. bye. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs>